Morning guys, Evan here with Easy Custom Ag. If you watched our last video, you saw that we were uh, running some beans actually out in the field on our home farm. But today we're back in the office. We've got a little bit of rain this morning, so we're not going to be able to be in the field until at least after lunch. Uh, so we kind of wanted to talk about the big elephant in the room. If you've been on social media of any sort or even on Google, Yahoo News, anywhere, you've heard about the 200 bushel soybeans that broke the world record here uh, a few weeks ago. Alex Harrell in Georgia pulled that off and he gave a lot of credit to the Brant program uh, that he was using for foliar feed on his beans. So a lot of guys have been asking, well, if he's using Brant, do you know what he's been using? Well, I was given his mix that he used on his foliar feeds the other day and I wanted to explain a little bit of it uh, to you here today. Um, so he used seed zone zinc as a um, seed treatment on his soybeans to start with. Uh, they were Asgro Extend Flex beans. I'm not sure what maturity range he's growing down in Georgia, but I do know that they were Extend Flex. Um, he's using seven passes of foliar, which is completely unheard of up here, but um, for 200 bushel soybeans, it definitely might be something to try. Um, in the Brant lineup, he's using Smart Trio, Smart Quattro, BMO, and KB. All um, all products we're very familiar with here at home. Um, he's using them in different ratios. Um, you know, sometimes he'll run a quart of trio, a quart of quattro. He'll run a quart of each one of them at some point. He'll go down to 24 ounces on some of them, all the way down to 8 ounces on BMO. Uh, we'll actually post the list of his foliar feeds and what order he did them, what timing he did them and everything. Um, under this video in the description so be sure to click on that so you can see what he was actually doing but the wild card for me when I got his list was the southeast crop mix so in trio and quattro um, I'll explain a little bit here I want to make sure I get the numbers right so in quattro we have five percent nitrogen two percent sulfur a half a percent boron two percent manganese uh, five one hundredths of a percent of molybdenum and two percent zinc so in quattro we have molybdenum where in trio we do not that is the main difference between between quattro and trio so when we look at the southeast crop mix it's more of a trio style product with the addition um, of magnesium so in ohio we have a lot of high mag soils or sticky soils that like to crust on us so magnesium is basically a bad word um, we're always using high cal lime. We stay away from the dolomitic. Um, so using magnesium seems really counterintuitive. But if we look at soil chemistry, magnesium can tie up magnesium, which is really strange, but that's how the soil chemistry works. So when we look at our crop production systems, there's times that our plants are actually low in magnesium, the actual plant tissue. Not our soil test, but our plant tissue is low in magnesium. Magnesium is the building block of chlorophyll. It's one of the main things needed for photosynthesis to happen. Get those sugars cranking in that plant, and we know that we need our soybean to be a sugar factory and solar, uh, basically a giant solar panel. So what he's doing with that southeast crop mix is he's trying to boost up those magnesium levels in the plant, get more photosynthesis, pack more sugar into those seeds, and hold more pods, which is our whole name of the game is to hold more pods. I'm still going to need to do some trials on foliar magnesium to see if that can actually help us here uh, but he's using the southeast crop mix in every pass where these were mixed around in different ratios this went in every pass so obviously he's seeing some really great benefit from that magnesium so i think that's something that maybe we need to turn our focus okay we're high in the soil but if our tissue tests are lacking it maybe we do need to give it a little shot in the arm and try to get a little bit extra into the plant and make photosynthesis run a little bit harder. Um, pricing will be released next week on uh, all these products for the early order program uh, for Brant. So be sure to contact us. We can get you pricing on what this program would cost. We can piece it out if we want to try just parts of it. You know, not everybody's able to make seven passes through their field to try to do uh, a trial on soybeans. Maybe we cut that back to three, four, whatever you're comfortable with. But I think for what it's gonna cost 
if that moved him up to 200 bushel soybeans, or at least was a piece of moving him up to 200 bushel soybeans, it's definitely worth a try in your field. So we'll hopefully see you next time out in the field, guys. Uh, get through this rain and uh, get out there, run some more beans, and give you guys some live footage of uh, what our hybrids are doing. So thanks a lot, guys.